In your entertainment news now, the timeless musical production of The King and I is playing right now at Zach Theater. Our CW star Annika Chestnut talked with the stars of the production and got a look behind the scenes at the lavish costumes. Thank you so much for being with us today. Can you tell me a little bit about how you prepared for this role in The King and I? Sure. Well, for me personally, <laughs> uh, preparing for the role, doing a lot of research in terms of studying about the King of Sam, um, King Mungut. Um, also, watching the movie itself, it was such a great tool. Watching Yul Brenner perform the role on the movie was such a magnificent work of art that I, I don't know how else I could have uh, <laughs> not portrayed that. But um, his actions, his acting, his, his demeanor definitely gave me a lot of clues of how I should play this role. Very cool. And what about you? You play Anna. I think there is sort of a, you know, it always makes me a little nervous because people, a show like this, it's a classic that so many famous people have done. People have an, a certain level of expectation that I wouldn't want to disappoint, you know, and so, but I also don't want to feel like I'm mimicking anybody else's performance and I'm bringing something of myself to it. So hopefully we've done that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the costumes, they're so elaborate. Which one's your favorite if you had to pick one? The huge dress that we do the famous shall we dance scene in. It's not super comfortable to walk around with backstage, but it's, it's beautiful. It, it's, it's, I think, one of the biggest costumes Zach Theater has ever built. It couldn't fit in the costume shop, and they had to build it, actually, in the lobby. So, Mel, he doesn't have to wear any big skirts. What are your... I know, he gets no, all the bling. Yeah, I got the bling, yeah. which I know you're a fan of. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, my favorite costume is actually the opening up, uh, the opening act costume, where that I'm sitting on the throne with that blue, like, turquoise and gold pants. It just makes me feel powerful. I kind of feel like the genie from Aladdin, but not that. <laughs> you kind <laughs> of <do. laughs> Definitely. But yeah, that's my favorite costume. And what do you guys want audience members to take away from your performance? Just uh, uh, the, the relationship of, just the relationship that Jill and I have in terms of the King and Anna. And, and it also shows how East can join with West. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting because it's a mixture of, of two cultures. The ballet itself is uh, it's a mixture of Thai dance and also a mixture of modern dance. Greg Zane, our choreographer, who is amazing, he's done the show, he's an expert with this choreography. It's the original Jerome Robbins choreography. And he had said that he had to put the dancers in our show through kind of a boot camp because it's very different from Western style of dance with the hand positions, which are so specific. And how long did it take you guys to learn the choreography? Dancing around on stage, it's gotta take a minute. <laughs> I'm really lucky because Mel, you know, here I am in this huge dress, it's very heavy, and Mel is so strong, and so he's a very good, he is very good at leading me around, and and so I feel like he's doing all <laughs> most of the work. As long as he so remembers as long as he's on, I'm on. All right. Well, the production of The King and I is playing in Zach Scott Theater through Saturday. Looks really nice. All right. We'll be right back with more news, weather, and traffic after this.